County. This is Jeff Nguyen you see in your lower left on the uh, with behind the goggles. Jeff, can you tell us where you are? I can tell you're in front of a burning house. Yeah, obviously we are on uh, Oak Park right now. And to give you a point, it's uh, Kelwood and Churchwood. And right here, you've got a couple of homes that are burning on this corner right now. You can hear the wind that's roaring through here. And as uh, Ken Kohler shows you these trees, you can see how these uh, palm trees are swaying and the wind is just ripping through here. As I walk through here, you can see this home at the corner is burned and uh, the home next door is burning as well. You can see that there is basically at this point just a slab is left here. What used to be the satellite dish for this home is on the ground. A number of fire engines out here, firefighters valiantly trying to put out the flames with their hoses. And to give you a sense of just how hot it is, take a look at this uh, RAV4 right here. This is the covering for the spare tire, and it has basically melted. And that is how much heat is radiating from this uh, house. Ken, if you can, let's turn around. You can see uh, just across the street, there is another house, and this one is on fire. As we stand here, Ken, don't, don't go in, in there. I, I, I don't want you to... Uh, the ground is very hot. There's broken glass. On top of that, you can see some of the embers that are shooting into the air. You know, the thing about this neighborhood is that it is surrounded by trees. And I want to see if uh, one of the fire department guys can talk to us. Do you have time to talk to us, sir? No, sir. Sorry. So, obviously, the fire department doesn't really have time to talk to us at this point because they've got a lot going on right now. They are basically in defensive mode right now. Uh, you can hear some of the engines here and you can get a sense of what is going on. Now, on this driveway, you've got this firefighter. He is running this fire hose. And uh, at this point, he's got to try to reposition himself. But there is just a number of um, number of water hoses being poured onto this house. At this point, you know that this house is not livable anymore. So what they're trying to do is contain the flames here. Because the last thing you want to do is have the continuously jump from one house to the next. And that is exactly what has been happening right now. You know, Jeff, earlier when we were driving here, I was listening to some of your reporting. You were talking about how embers can fly sometimes a mile, sometimes a mile and a half. And Ken, if you pan up here, you can see some of the embers that are shooting into the air. And that's what makes these fires so dangerous because when the wind goes through here, even though you've got these streams of water being trying to use to douse these homes. You can see all of the embers shooting into the air. And you can see just how hard this work is because when you look at the water that's pouring off of that house, that water is super dark. Okay, let's back up a little bit so they can have a little bit of space. And as we're looking here and you're seeing these firefighters running these lines, we're gonna follow one of them right now. And you can see it's just backbreaking work and they're doing it uphill. And now, you know, it's almost like whack-a-mole, right? Because you can't really focus your attention on any one point. So while he's working here, he's got his colleague right there. Ken, if you can pan to the right and show some of the firefighters right there. And then on top of that, Ken, if you can just pivot to your right, look at the hillside. And now we've got some of these embers raining down on us. So, hey, Ken, let's back up just a little bit so we can give these guys a little bit of space to work. But while we're looking down this way, Ken, if you can pan to the hillside, you can see just how the hillsides are burning right now in addition to what's going on. And that's why it's so easy for these flames to just kind of move about in such a erratic behavior. Jeff, is it is it L it looks it looks like it's it looks like it's LA County fire that is with you there. And if I got that right, it's it's LA County 36, which means that they're out of Carson. So on top of all of this, you have firefighters that are negotiating areas that they're not familiar with. Um, they all know how to fight fire, but 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 knowing how to get there, knowing the uh, you know the municipal water supply, working with other firefighters, it is a, a, just a valiant effort. Um, can you, from what you're hearing, Jeff, can you hear what they're, what the, what the plan is? What are they, where are they trying to stop the fire? You know, to be honest with you, I don't think you can really have a game plan right now because the wind is shifting constantly. And you're right, Jeff. These guys are from LA County. Uh, we heard some collapsing noise 
and we're going to surmise that that collapsing noise came from the house that you are seeing right now. You know, it's kind of hard to have a game plan when the conditions are so erratic, because at one moment, moment, the embers are going to the west, and then the next moment, they shift and they go to the east. So it's really hard to kind of predict where they're going to go. And as we walk a little bit farther, you can see, Ken, over here, this car alarm is going off. And you can see why, because this used to be a van, and now it is on fire, in addition to the van that's on fire. On top of that, it's a tree that's burning as well. So game plan, I think, is just try to put out the first thing you see, Jeff. And as the wind exactly is blowing right. towards me, you know what I mean? So you can hear the level of urgency from these guys because they're trying to just hit everything that, that pops up in front of them. Okay, so we're going to back up just a little bit when we hear that popping noise. And we certainly also really don't sure want to get in their is. way. Now, now, Jeff, you said that you're on, Church Absolutely. you're on Churchwood Drive. You're north of Canaan Road, right? Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I think you I'm not are. sure in terms yeah. of where I am in relation to Canaan. I am off of Canaan, that's for sure. Yeah, you're, you're north of Canaan. Uh, this is where Oak to Hills... To be quite frank, when... Yeah, this is where Oak Hills Elementary School is, uh, Los, Los Arcos Drive, uh, Kelwood Court. That's where you are. You're on the corner of Churchwood and Kelwood, you said. Uh, so from the looks of... I mean, this right. is a... This is a relatively small neighborhood that looks to me to be probably comprised of about, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 homes.